What's up YouTube? It's your boy X Factor here and today I'm going to be showing you my test of these antennas. This remote here comes from the 3DR Solo in case you're not familiar with this drone. It's an American made drone. So, I did a range test between these, the alphas, which are not stock. These are the stock antennas. This is what the stock antennas look like. These are the alphas, they're aftermarket. They're 7 dB. They're supposed to give you more range. Just how much range? I'll show you in a side-by-side -side comparison video. Look guys, if you haven't hit subscribe, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and tell me in the comment section below what test you'd like me to run. I have two drones, I have the Ghost Drone 2.0 VR and if you don't know what that is, go check out my other videos. That's the drone that you fly with your smartphone and have a 3DR solo contemplating to buy a DJI, probably a Mavic or I don't know, Phantom 4 maybe, Advanced or something. Anyway, back to the point. The test is between these two types of antennas. I put a pair of alphas on there to give me that long range that these, that these are supposed to give me. And then I put two stock antennas on to see what kind of range I get. And then if you watch the video to the end, you'll see that I used one alpha and one stock antenna. And you'll see what I got from that as well. So before I show you the footage, I must warn you, this is New York City, Queens in particular. What does that mean? means there's a lot of Wi-Fi interference, there's a lot of cell towers all over the place, there's a lot of basically any kind of interference you can think about, this is a commercialized place, don't expect to get a lot of range if you ever come here to fly, at least in Queens, at least not with this particular drone right here, right? it's not going to get much, but with that being said, Let's go to the videos, check it out. Guys, one other thing to note here, I am using Solex Mission. So both, all three tests as a matter of fact are done with the exact same mission, thus exact same heights, exact same accuracy. the stock antennas they are out at 1194 feet circled above they're out let's go alpha oops there goes the alphas they're out they're outed 1,489 feet. Great, let's do the math. Alphas have 1,489 minus 1,194 from the stock, a difference of 295 feet. 295 more feet. That's what you get with the alphas versus the stock. Now I'm going with one alpha and one stock antenna.
that's the drone test there you have it what to expect when you're flying your 3dr solo here in new york city queens in particular with alphas with stock or with a pair one and one of each that's the results you can look forward to if you haven't hit that subscribe button guys please go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now support my channel so i can continue making these videos continue testing this stuff for you yes i am passionate about what i do and i'd love to continue sharing this information with you look forward to more aerial footage technology stuff like this laptop over here that i recently purchased i'm going to be doing a review on it How guys keep it locked right here i have tons and tons of content coming out this is your boy x factor and i'll stay in touch